nothing rounds up an overseas trip better than buying a few souvenirs. Just like both of souvenirs for his time and the memory of exploring a new destination. Hello, I am Moin, a guide in Iran, and in this video, my friend Atena and I will introduce you to some captivating handicrafts which will serve as a happy memory of your trip to Iran. Number one, carpets. The art of carpet weaving in Iran dates back 25 centuries, and it goes without saying that Persian carpets are among the finest handicrafts in the world. Having up to millions of knots, Persian carpets are beautiful and mysterious. The diverse and complicated designs and colors are just some of the reasons for their popularity among Iranian souvenirs. The best carpets in general are from Tabriz, Qom, Kashan, Nain, Isfahan, and Shiraz, and all these areas have their own unique weaving and patterns. In terms of price, there are affordable small size carpets but larger high-quality ones can cost you an arm and a leg. Number 2. Gabbe A gabbe is a simpler form of Persian rug, traditionally woven by nomads for their own use, with the pied left much longer than normal rugs. These rugs have a simple pattern, often using geometric and stylized human, animal, and plant forms. With their simple design elements, they are perfectly suited for modern interiors. Number 3. Clean If you are not ready to spend on luxurious carpets, you can go for something smaller and more affordable like a clean. Clean is a pileless textile and it is produced by flat weaving techniques interweaving warps and wefts with the weft strands carrying the designs and colors. Weaving clean is a nomadic art made by the women in a tribe or a village. The pattern comes from their own imaginations and sometimes represents their rural environment. Number 4. Kalamkari Tablecloth Kalamkari is a traditional textile printing of Isfahan. It uses wooden stamps to press floral, geometric, and arabesque patterns onto cotton cloth. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they are a great way to give your dining table a Persian twist. The art isn't only found on tablecloth, you'll find it on beddings, bags, cushions, and more. Number 5. Terme. Terme is the most famous handicraft in the historical city of Yaz. It is mainly made of silk and wool and has a predominantly paisley pattern. Historically, the most common use of terme was for aristocratic clothing, curtains, prayer rugs, and home decorations for royal and wealthy families. Nowadays, terme is also produced in factories to make all sorts of things such as tablecloth, purses, shoes, cushions, and jewelry boxes. I think a terme runner would add a perfect touch to your dining table. Number 6. Kalamzani Whether it's silver, gold, or copper, Iranians take it to a whole new level. The art of Galamzani involves skilled craftsmen embossing a metal piece to create elaborate designs on trays, plates, vases, and silverware. As you wind your way through Isfahan's bazaar towards the sound of steady hammering, artisans engaging in metal engraving will come into view, and you might happen to pick up a personalized piece that the artist has just finished. Number 7. Malile Kari Malile Kari or filigree is traditionally an ancient Persian metal art 
using and welding tiny strips and filaments of silver together to create ornamental and decorative objects. Nowadays, they are actually strips of copper welded together and coated with silver and nickel. The city of Zanjan has been registered as the birthplace of filigree art, but you can also find many Lekari in Isfahan Bazaar. Number 8. Copper Products Copper might not be everyone's cup of tea, but maybe we are reminded of the past by seeing copper containers, once used in our homes but now superseded by the arrival of modern kitchenware. These copper products have made a comeback in recent years in Iran, especially with the emphasis that traditional medicine has put on the use of copper pots. The best place to buy them are in the bazaars of Isfahan, Zanjan, and Kerman. Number 9. Minakari Another handicraft that catches everybody's eye in the bazaars is Minakari. It is a type of enamel work where copper surfaces are decorated by a fine hair brush with miniature birds and floral patterns on a background which are most commonly blue, although green and red are also used. Minakari comes in place, vases and other decorative items and usually artists can be seen hard at work creating new pieces in the old section of Isfahan's bazaar. Number 10. Miniature Paintings Isfahan is also home to some of the best miniature art, the artist having been inspired by the wall paintings in Chelsotun Palace. Miniature art is detailed painting, usually depicting Iranian ceremonial, mystical or mythological themes. This level of detail can only be achieved with a very steady hand and an extremely small brush. They feature rich complex scenes which can occupy a viewer for hours. Number 11. Khatam Kari Khatam Kari is the Persian art of marquetry and often incorporates a geometrical pattern. Fine pieces of wood, bone and metal are inlaid on a surface to create all kinds of decorative objects such as jewelry boxes, picture frames, backgammon boards, and many other beautiful pieces. While some are pure khatamkari, others depict miniature paintings. These make great gifts for friends, although you'll probably also want one for yourself. Number 12. Firuze Kubi Another much appreciated Iranian handicraft is made with the beautiful world famous turquoise from the city of Neshabur. Firuze Kubi is made by implanting small pieces of turquoise stone in mosaic fashion on the surface of dishes, ornaments and decorative objects with copper, brass, silver or bronze bases. It is an impressive art with a calming harmony of colors and texture. You can also find pretty jewelry made with turquoise, which according to some people, bears many benefits such as dispelling negative energy. Number 13. Pottery Pottery has had a long history in Iran and dates back prior to the Persian Empire. This age-old tradition is still alive. Decorative objects, hand-painted dishes and mugs made in typical Persian forms will fondly remind you of Iran. Number 14. Ceramic Tiles Like pottery, tile work has a long history in Iran. Everywhere you go, you will see multicolored tiles decorating the walls, domes, and minarets of mosques and a wide variety of other structures. They are likely to remain one of your lasting memories of Iran. Number 15. Giveh 
Give are traditional footwear common in the mountainous areas of Iran. These handmade shoes consist of leather sole or rubber and a white woven cotton upper. Especially practical during the summer months due to their breathable fabric, Give have made a comeback in recent years thanks to local artists giving them a modern twist. From simple copper cups to exquisite miniature paintings and masterfully made metalworks, the opportunities for buying handicrafts during your trip to Iran are countless. The best place to make your choice remains the bazaars, like the one in Esfahan, which is a souvenir shopper's dream. Going all the way around the square, it is packed with shops selling all sorts of handicrafts and exquisite pieces of art. Even if you don't have any plans to make a purchase, window shopping here is a joy. What I particularly enjoy is seeing the artists at work and the age-old processes of producing these fine pieces. I hope you enjoyed our video. There are many more things you may want to know before traveling to Iran. If you are looking for more info on Iran's attractions, handicrafts, festivities, visa process, etc., please have a look at my website, PerjaPassenger.com. Thanks for watching and have a great trip to Iran.